In this video, we're looking at solving quadratic equations. So a quadratic equation is an equation involving a square, and we can solve quadratic equations using two methods, the sum and product method and the quadratic equation. So the first thing we're going to look at is solving using the sum and product method. Now these are really good for quick ones like mono um, quadratics where the coefficient for the first term, the highest term, is 1. Um, you can solve other ones, but this it's easiest for 1. So here we begin is we've got x squared plus x minus 6. This is my plus and this is my times term. So I need two numbers at times to give negative 6, but add to give uh, 1. So what I could do there, I could pick 1 and negative 6. So 1 times negative 6 is negative 6, which that's correct. If that's my times column, and this is my plus. And then if I go over here and go 1 plus negative 6 equals negative 5, and that doesn't work. So I know that my pair is not 1 and negative 6. So the next one I can try is 3 and negative 2. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. So that's good. 3 plus negative 2 equals 1, and that is also, that's good, that's what we wanted. So we know my pair is 3 and negative 2, so I know that x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0. We can factorise that down to x plus 3, x minus 2 equals 0. And then what I want to do is solve each of the bracketed areas separately because that will tell me my solutions, because if one of those bracketed areas equals 0, then the whole thing has to equal 0. So x plus 3 has to equal 0, or x minus 2 has to equal 0. So I'll minus 3 from both sides here, and over here I can plus 2, plus 2. So I end up with x equals negative 3, and x equals 2. So my solutions here are x equals negative 3, and x equals 2. Now here we're going to do another one, and we're going to solve it using the quadratic formula. So remember, here's my a, b, c, and x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. That's your formula. So what you would do is you just substitute all your values in. So x is going to equal 10 plus or minus the square root of negative 10 squared minus 4 times 8 times 3 all over 2 times 8. If you put that into the calculator, remember you're putting it in twice because you have a plus or minus here. So if we do the first way, we'll get that 3 over 4 or we end up with 1 over 2. Now, good thing about using the quadratic formula is is I do not have to do any other steps now what comes out on the calculator is the solution I don't have to put them into brackets and then solve that equation x does equal 3 over 4 or x equals 1 over 2